it's not just Donald Trump and some of the rhetoric that's very harmful that uh, Donald Trump used to get elected. And by the way, we've seen that in Europe. Um, you know, you can look to Victor Uban, uh, Maria Le Pen, um, uh, the Brexit vote. Um, uh, there's a lot of um, uh, uh, there was a lot of warning signs of the type of um, uh, ultra nationalist populism that we saw from Donald Trump, but. In terms of for the LGBT community, our biggest worry is Mike Pence, his vice presidential pick, who is ideologically opposed to anyone who's different from his religion and his point of view and his, um, and so um, incoming administration has told all sitting ambassadors, in particular the LGBT ones, but all of them, that they must immediately leave their posts. Usually they're given some time for a transition, no transition time. So I, I think we're in for our difficult days and, um, and our Supreme Court is very much in play because uh, although Donald Trump has said that gay marriage is settled. He doesn't make that decision as president. It is the Supreme Court and every single one that he has on his list that is against the women's right to choose is also against gay marriage. And it will take only one additional vote on the Supreme Court to undo gay marriage. But we are at risk, and to be honest with you, as of today, uh, gay marriage was given in the U.S. by our Supreme Court by one vote, and our Supreme Court has both given and taken back rights, so we have a history of that. And so gay marriage is not as necessarily secure in the United States, um, and the rights of all people are not secure anywhere.